Hi, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Today I'm going to make you, my opinion, rice, perfect rice pilaf, sea sparkle style. Uh, you need a saucepan this size and you need to preheat that pan on five. You want to take two tablespoons of butter or margarine and put it in the pan. That's it, that's all the butter. And put it in the refrigerator after that because you're done with it. While that's melting, you want to take an equal amount of vegetable oil. The butter is going to get the flavor, the vegetable oil doesn't get flavor. But if you want additional added flavor, feel free to add olive oil. So I'm going to eye it about two tablespoons of vegetable oil, letting that heat up. Putting that back away after, because we need that to melt. Then we're going to take an eighth of an onion and chop it up. Very, very tiny. Because we're going to want to heat this up. And then we're going to chop up some bacon for added flavor to it. Cut the bacon all the way, make sure it's cut. Now if you want to use prosciutto, go ahead and feel to use prosciutto. But we're adding turkey bacon. And I'm rolling it to cut it up very, very, very small. Right. I'm going to check it out now. You can see that's almost melted. And I'm going to add all this to the heat. All right. And now I'm going to take some garlic salt and add just a titch, a little bit, a couple of shakes like an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic salt. And I want to flavor this. So I'm going to add a couple of shakes or a pinch of salt. And use the small holes and a couple of shakes of black pepper. Not red pepper, but black pepper. And now we're going to stir this. Now I'm going to let that cook until that, until all that is done, until the rice is a little bit, I mean until the Onions are a little bit past translucent. So that's going to take a few minutes. That burner isn't big enough for this pan. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to go to the front one. There we go. Get more heat that way. All right, now we're going to take and cook it in. We're going to bake it in the Ninja. Woohoo! Plug in. Bake it in the ninja. Alright, now I'm going to put away what I've used. Alright, also we want, I have one cup of long grain rice and two cups or one pint of chicken broth. and parsley flakes. Now I like parsley, it's gonna give it that green color. So I'm gonna take two pinches of parsley to it. You're gonna, now if you're gonna cook this in your oven, preheat your oven to 350 degrees 
because it's going to bake for about 15, 20 minutes. But if you're going to bake it in the oven, in a regular standard oven, take aluminum foil and make sure you thoroughly cover it when you bake it. But if you're baking it in the Ninja, you don't have to. Now this is starting to cook. I'll be back with you when it's cooked. Alright, now take your rice and put it in the pan you're going to bake it in the oven. The whole one cup of rice. Now if you're feeding more people, feel free to double it, triple it, whatever. Add your two... Alright, let's make it... I'm going to take this. Alright, this heated stuff. All this. And add it on top of your rice. And then stir your rice. Make sure everyone is coated. We gotta coat every grain of rice is coated. Don't miss a single grain. You can tell by looking at them what you're doing here and separating it out. Now, take your two cups of chicken broth and we're going to heat this. Okay, that's on the stove. And get back to making sure all your rice. Oh, if you're cooking it in the oven, preheat it 350. If you're cooking it in your roaster oven, cook it through. Preheat 350, but we're going to do something different. We're going to attempt to do this in the Ninja. There's no preheating in the Ninja because I'm using the Ninja pan, and my son found out the, the Ninja, ninja gets the EO1. You, the Ninja doesn't let you preheat, so it's going to go right to the Ninja. All right, we want to get this hot, so I'm going to turn it up to seven. We don't want to take cold chicken broth and add it to the rice because the rice now is just a tad bit warm because we just heated up all that good stuff in it and so that just like starts to activate the rice. It, that lets the rice better absorb stuff when you're baking. That's your key. You don't want to shock it with cold. So you want to kind of let this get hot. And give it a stir. You don't want to stick your finger in it, but you see it's steaming, so this has gotten hot. So this is steaming, see? Now I'm adding the hot stuff to the rice. All over the rice. All right. Now be careful, don't splash yourself. When you pour it, pour slowly so you don't end up burning yourself and end up in a visit in the emergency room. Now take all of this stuff and just mix it around. Mix it around. So that way all the rice is flavored. All right, now we're gonna take our inside of our Ninja, put it on our Ninja. We're gonna go to bake, 350. And we're gonna put the top on, make sure the steamer is away from us. And we're going to let that cook for about 20 minutes. All right, then cook it in the Ninja 20, 15 minutes, and I noticed it was done. Then I took it off and removed it off the, out of the Ninja and let it sit for, for five minutes. Don't, and don't touch it for five minutes. All right, then you need a pour. Then you need a fork, and you pick your cover up off of the rice, and see it's all done and it smells delicious. Take your fork and do fork and fluff. Go like this over all of it before you serve it and do fork and fluff. To fluff up all the rice. See it's not even stuck together. 
And see how beautiful that is? That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're going to serve it. And I'm going to serve it and let David taste test it. Then I'm going to taste test it as well. Look at that. Look at that. That's so beautiful. So beautiful and so delicious. All right. Now I'm going to let David taste test it and then I'll taste test it and finish it with you. Pick whichever one you like, they're both the same. You got to get the rest of the meal out of the microwave. Yeah. It's very hot. Interesting flavor. Do you like it? There was some beans, put some beans on top of that. Alright. Nice, nice rice bed recipe there. Now I'm gonna taste it. Rice pilaf. It looks too hot. I'm afraid to take a bite of it. Mm-mm. I love rice. And it's so delicious, it doesn't need to be good with anything, it's just good on its own. You don't have to buy rice already made. There you go. Perfect rice pilaf. It'll be perfect every time. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this new video. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. And as always, we appreciate all of our viewers and all of our subscribers. Hugs and kisses from my family to yours. Bye, everybody.